This is Tanya from My Vinyl Cut, and I'm going to show you a hack to creating the white outline um, against a background for sublimation printing. So this is a just a brush stroke backdrop that I created. Um, I got the brush strokes uh, from Digital Curio. She's one of my favorite artists. I can put a link in the description below if you're interested in getting these but i and they come all separated and i put them together like this and then i want to put something over it but if you just use black text or white text just a solid colored text it won't really show up it kind of gets lost in the busy background so what crafters normally do or designers is they create a white offset but if you do that that means you have to convert the text to path and then create an offset around it and then you're stuck. So say you want to look at different fonts and see what it looks like, there's a hack. You don't have to do the offset. You can just um, color your line and thicken it up. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to type some words. Or I'm just gonna type, let's see, um, holiday with an S. So I have actually the business edition. I have a Mac. Um, I don't know if all my terms are going to be the same that you have, but if you have a PC, if you have the basic edition, it, things might be just a little bit different, but it's basically the same. So I'm going to color the text black. Now see, it's still in text mode. I can still change the text, the font, to different fonts, okay? So if I go ahead and create an offset around it, that offset stays the same, and if I change the, the text, uh, change the font, it's not gonna match up with that offset because it was the shape around the other word. So here's, here's a little hack. Um, so see, if I wanna see what this looks like, I would have to go through all that trouble, all those steps to convert this to a path, create the offset, uh, color the offset. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create uh, my line. My line is white and to see it better, you can thicken it up and I just, I normally like 7.5, but now since it's a, te um, a typable text, these are all individual letters they haven't been welded but that's okay because we're just going to look and see what different fonts look like like do i like that do i like this um you've got some script so now when you do one with distressed and you color the line it it kind of takes up the inside spaces that are supposed to be clear so I, I wouldn't recommend testing it out on that. But let's just say I like this one. This is actually a font I use regularly because it's a nice script font. It's thick for cutting. It's easy to read. Um, so here are some things I can do. I can go object, convert to path. Now it doesn't necessarily weld it. It, it kind of does some neat things. So you might want to use that technique. I'm going to undo, I'm sorry my cat just sat on my keyboard on my other computer and now it's going crazy. Um, so you can also go object, modify, weld, and then there you go, you weld it and then it automatically has that white offset. You always want to group it after you weld it because I'm just noticing that because then when you go to move it around it stays together. So um, that's a hack. You don't have to go to the create an offset. And you know, if you're a beginner, the offset's really time consuming, confusing sometimes. Uh, I had trouble with it in the beginning, but uh, this is a real easy way to do it, um, especially when you want to check out different fonts. It allows you to scroll around and try different fonts. Um, oh, there's Medina, I like Medina. Uh, it's one of those, uh, well, it has a clean version, so it doesn't have the inside bits. Um, well, actually, <laughs> that one, there it is, clean. <laughs> so, but, you know, you just remember to weld it um, so you don't see the 
individual letters overlapping. So hopefully you learned something from this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave it below. Um, if you need to see some other kind of tutorial, I actually like this, let me know and I'll try to accommodate you. Um, I do teach classes with the Silhouette Studio software and Cutter at Michael's. So let me know if uh, you have any questions. Again, it's Tanya from My Vinyl Cut. I have an Etsy shop, a website, I sell on eBay, I sell on Amazon. So if you need to purchase any printed vinyl um, or waterside decals or stickers, just let me know. Thanks a lot and have a great day.